Hey, what's going on, YouTube? A Aaron here, and of course, this will be a good game. We get a destroyer, and they don't, so we should we should be doing pretty well in this game. But we're going to show you uh, how the Iowa was nerfed, or not nerfed, or shadow nerfed, whatever you guys want to call it, or whatever the clickbait title says. And while I will agree with my comrades here and some and some other friends of mine that maybe something that Wargaming did unintentionally affected the dispersion or accuracy of the Iowa. Um, it has not been nerfed. I asked the dev, I said, hey, have you guys touched the Iowa? They said, nope, we've done nothing to our accuracy. I'm gonna move, Fletcher. Well, I mean, I just ran into him because he doesn't want to move. Let's see, if this guy slows down at all, these are gonna overshoot. Uh, yeah, Aaron. Um... I gotta bounce. Yikes. I'm gonna go into the island here then. The Fletcher. Oh. Yeah, this Fletcher, I I, I thought we were gonna have an advantage with the destroyer here, but I now I don't think we really do. Damaged. And just touched the Alaska. Took out his engine. He repaired it. No, he didn't. You can tell by the sparks. If you guys want to insider trading, look at the. Uh... The ship is on fire. Fighter Yep, they nerfed the IO all right. There's 25k off the Yamato. <laughs> this is gonna be the one, boys! No, but I, I'll explain after the game what I really think happened to it, and I think it's a lot more people running dispersion builds and, and different things, but... Also, a lot of people need to get good and stop sitting in the back like I'm doing in the Iowa and expect to get complete broadsides like this every time. But if you do, you know, line up the shot and hit it. Now, he slowed down, but, yeah, there's another Enemy Citadel on him. 20k, and... Okay, he touched just... This choppy is really going to annoy me. Choppy players like this, you're completely useless to your team right now. You're you're so far out of the fight. Also, Fletcher players like this... Oh, okay, there's radar cruisers. We'll, we'll leave them. We'll leave them be for the time. Let's see if we can, uh... Get a nice little nuke. Fighter returning to ship. Two overpins at fire. maximum range here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hurting. This chappy has burned me. Nah, let's keep it. Yep, our Fletcher is yet to push. Our team is not pushed on this side. I'm I'm out of range of him. I'm I, <laughs> I'm getting focused over here. Pushing out. Looks like we're gonna have one guy who's what's this? Massachusetts. Oh, it's Fist! Concentrate fire on the designated target. Go up the middle, Fist, do it. He's one of my subscribers and the person in the chat, Fista Breaker. Smart, intelligent player too. No oh, Fist, go up yeah, yeah, see he's watching. Yeah, go up the middle. Don't know how effective that shot's going to be at 18 and a half kilometers, but we'll, we'll try. I blacked out one of his guns. He's coming for me. Oh boy, I'm going to burn.
I'm I'm fine. I have 50k health, but I'm just saying. Like he's. Yeah. Come on, RNG Jesus. Come on. Come on. I didn't lead him enough. Dude, that is. How do I get deflections on a Chapiev? Can someone point out the spot on a Chapiev, like collectively, that can bounce 406s? These look pretty good. If he maintains course, I aimed low. Boom. Heavily damaged. Attention. Reporting the Bro, I, hit, I, I, as soon as I s opened up, I thought he was gonna switch to me. Fighter airborne. Oh, touch him, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I literally said I'm at 50k, but the f the act of me shooting out a Chapayev that was was focused on me for half the game. I thought he was going to switch to HE and come shoot me. He did not do that, however, so we're 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 here. We're fine. This Yamato is gonna keep sailing broadside. I'm gonna get another Citadel while you guys kill the Chappie. I'm not I'm not even gonna worry about the Odin to my left. Yes. Citadels. I'm just gonna continue to give broadside to this Odin. Those look pretty good. Goodbye. No. Confirmed penetration. Bruh. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you! Both of you immediately switch targets, didn't you? How is this Chappie still alive? Do your job. I'm playing with a bunch of just. We're shooting at you. Oh, those are tight. Oh, those are tight. Already. Okay. Now, can I make it over to these last ships and get my high caliber? Let's see. Fist, I need you to die. I need you to sacrifice yourself for the video. <laughs> 150k, 6 Citadels. I think this is a perfect example of how the Iowa was not nerfed. People are running anti-dispersion builds. A lot more players are running camos. I, I think people are just bad, or the game is not how it used to be. The game evolves, and as the game evolves, people need to evolve. And some people who sit in the back in the Iowa, as I did for a decent chunk of time, um, have not evolved. So that's the reason that you may think the Iowa has been nerfed or, or whatever. Also, I saw a post where it's like, the Iowa was not historically ac it's not historically accurate because it doesn't it didn't go 35 knots or 33 knots. And what that person is referring to is is the speed run that the Iowa made in like the 70s or something. I don't know. It was a Zapranith in my comments is going to uh, tell me exactly when exactly when the Iowa set the speed record, but the speed record was done at half capacity, meaning she didn't have all her ammo on board, half the crew, and in open ocean. So, to say that the game is not historically accurate is one, it's an arcade shooter, and two, get over it. <laughs> but there's the high caliber, I think I just needed to touch a fourth ship there. Also, 
Fist, I was kidding. If you want to ram him or shoot him, feel free. I was I was more or less kidding for the video, but a good hold in the middle there, Fist. And also another point is Fist uh, stream snipe me right now. I was trying to get this video with my my clan mates here because I was just having a heck of a time uh, doing this solo and. I don't control the matchmaker, so if you stream snipe me or want to stream snipe me, watch my stream and you can potentially get on my team or on the enemy team. I, I don't control that. It's a very common thing to do. I do not I definitely do not stack the matchmaking as someone claimed in the Discord. <laughs> I, I do not control who gets on my team. This morning I faced all three of my clan mates and Red actually got a solo warrior off of it because our team just didn't know what they were doing. Uh, you can you can watch the stream playback I was just streaming and oh there they are on the enemy team that's how it's done I just die already. No kills as Red and War stole my kills, but that's alright. We got the W. <laughs> yes. Alright, but let's go ahead and show the screens and we'll show all the battle screens. Six Citadels, couple hits there. 2300 experience, not too much experience. We got the high caliber and the W. Thank you to my teammates and, and Fist here for, for holding the mid and, and doing what's necessary. 114,000 that silver there if you're really concerned about silver. And let's go ahead and show you something. So, Warchasm was running the Amalfi, and the Amalfi is a relatively new, newer ship to the game. And the Amalfi is unique because it has a very good top speed as well as being a very agile ship, as Hipper has kind of named them. And... What that, what that means is it's got a very quick rudder shift that I'm not, I'm even, I'm not even running a full rudder build on mine. Um, so trying to hit that ship at range is you're, you're not going to do it. You, you couple that with an anti-dispersion build as well as uh, a camo which decreases dispersion even more. And it's very tough to hit agile cruisers at medium to long ranges. That as well as multiple more destroyers in the game as well as some battleships like the Roma and the John Bart which pretty much eat all uh, bounce all shells that went when bow tanking now you give a broadside that's a different story but that is the reason that the, a lot of you guys think the Iowa hasn't been nerfed you, you need to adapt your gameplay and, and think of new strategies play your Iowa in an aggressive manner stop sitting in the back can't emphasize that enough uh, and, and just look for, for the best shot and, and opportunity to push and different things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And just to reiterate, there was a slight nerf to the Iowa, but not to the nothing. I asked a, I asked a dev, and I, I want to use their name. They said I could, but I'm not going to, just so this person doesn't get excess questions. I said, hey, I want to make a video about the Iowa nerf. Was there anything done to the Iowa? He said, yes, the AP damage and the superstructure. And I said, nothing to accuracy. He said, nothing to the accuracy. Now, whether they messed up something in the code unintentionally, that remains to be seen. But I think the gameplay I just showed you shows that the IO is still very accurate, even at long ranges. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was informative. And I appreciate my clan mates here for, for helping me get a win. I was trying to play solo and it was just way too frustrating. So uh, if they, they might start uh, some channels or some, some videos soon. So make sure to check them out. Uh, if, if, if they do by the time this video is out, I'll link them down below. If not, just try and catch them on Twitch or something like that. And thanks for Fist for stream sniping and help us with the, with the W there. That was a mouthful. Video's over. Well, let me get an ending shot of the Iowa here. I'm on the Vanguard. <laughs> That's a whole different story. Thanks for watching the video, guys. A, a run out. Peace.